على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم والعن أعداءهم. In the name of God, the compassion and the merciful. Hello, dear brothers and sisters, respected viewers. Welcome to another episode, another live ziyara show. Welcome to Karbala. Welcome to land of Hussein. Welcome to land of Abbas. And still, we are living the uh, era, the period of the birthday of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi salam. And still, the, you know, the condition is, and the time is the time of happiness, and the happiness of Ahlul Bayt, and that's why all, we all are happy, and we congratulate each other for this great, great anniversary especially for the birthday of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and the birthday anniversary of Imam Ja'far al Sadiq alayhi salam. So once again, I would like to congratulate all of you, dear brothers and sisters, for this great anniversary. And inshallah, inshallah, all of you be able to be in Karbala soon and perform a ziyara, a real, actually all, all, all kinds of, all kinds of ziyara which are done and salams which are sent to Imam Hussain are real but a close ziyara I mean when you be here in Karbala next to Holy Shana of Imam Hussain alayhi salam and you feel that whatever your heart is touching you can touch it by your hand this is the point when you are performing ziyara your heart is touching the shrine you have a connection between your heart and the Holy Shana of Hussein alayhi salam, between your heart and Bain al Haramain, between your heart and the atmosphere of Karbala. But when you are here in Karbala, then in addition to the touch which happens between your heart and the environment and the place, your body, your hand, your fingers also can touch whatever you are watching here in this great place so i hope and i ask almighty god to make it possible for all of you to be here in karbala and perform ziyara by your own inshallah 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 uh, in addition actually if you came here to Kaaba, don't forget to let me know so you be my guest my special guest here in this live ziyara show in this welcome to Kaaba live ziyara show and this is an invitation to all of you dear brothers and sisters no matter how many times you come to Karbala, whenever you come to Karbala, you can be uh, my guest here in Welcome to Karbala Live Ziyara Show. And inshallah, we all together perform Ziyara. Say salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And spend our time with Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Now let's start this uh, live Ziyara Show once again with a humble salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam and Abdul Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. And after that, inshallah, we spend the rest of the time only by speaking about Ahlul Bayt, speaking about Imam Hussain alayhi salam, and inshallah it will be great time. Let's say humble salam to Imam Hussain alayhi salam and Abdul Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. Assalamu alayka ya Ibn Rasulullah. السلام عليك يا ابن أمير المؤمنين وابن سيد الوصيين السلام عليك يا ابن فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين السلام عليك وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتك السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين Now, let's say a humble salam to Abel Fadl Abbas عليه السلام Oh, Abel Fadl Abbas O oh, Qamar Bani Hashim, O oh, Bab al-Hawaj, Assalamu alayka ya Qamar Bani Hashim. Assalamu alayka ya Saqi al-Utasha. Assalamu alayka ya Qati al-Kaffain. Assalamu alayka ya Hamil al-Liwa al-Hussein. Assalamu alayka ya Kafil Zainab. Assalamu alayka ayyuhal Abdu al-Salih. 
المطيع لله ولرسوله ولأمير المؤمنين والحسن والحسين ورحمة الله وبركاته نشارك فرح عيد نشارك ونبارك لبو الزهر نبارك ونشارك فرح عيد نشارك وطلع بدر علينا يا محلى مولد المختار طه محمد محمد يا محلى مولد المختار طه محمد محمد بوجود الزهرة بوجود الزهرة الأرض وسماها محمد محمد والله مدينة ومكة من يا رسول الله يا الزهراء مدينة ومكة من طاها ضواها محمد والله رسول الرحمة لل والله رسول الرحمة للأمة لواها محمد آه طلع نور أبو الزهرة طلع نور طلع نور أبو الزهرة طلع نور بقي نور على الدنيا بقي نور طلع نور ابو الزهرة طلع نور بقي نور على الدنيا بقي نور او ابو روح الحنينة هلا Looking at the footage which was shown right now, Bainul Haramain, in one side the Holy Shana of Al-Fasi and the other side the Holy Shana of Al-Fal Abbas alayhi salam, you just notice that Bainul Haramain is not that crowded, okay? And the green lights are shining in two sides. Just if you remember the footage that you saw uh, during Arba'een, where Bain al Haramain was all full of people. It wasn't this white because you could only see people wearing black shirts and walking in this place. You know, and they all were mourning Imam Hussein alayhi salam. They were mourning for Imam Hussein alayhi salam and for the Arba'een. And you know, Ya Abu Abdullah, the time in which Karbala was. Uh, passing through the Hussein rituals, the mornings, and the you know, the grief which was everywhere. And these days, Karbala has got Zareen, but not as much as they were in Arba'in. But when you are looking at the at Bainul Haramain in such a beautiful. Uh, you know, Bin Hamid all the times, every time, you know, it's beautiful. In my point of view and point of view of all those who just come to Karbala. But you know, what I want to say is that in any situation, Bain al Haramain resembles and shows the atmosphere of that time. Let me just tell you something, just say it in another word. Right now, Bain al Haramain is wearing white. I would like to ask my brother, the director, to show Bain al Haramain. Can you show Bain al Haramain, please? If you show Bain al Haramain, and uh, I don't know, can we have the Bain al Haramain uh, footage? Yeah, if we can have Bain al Haramain footage, then I will just describe uh, what, I'm, what I want to say. Just, just look at this footage. Look at this footage, look at Bain al-Haramain, 
exactly this view that you are work, uh, watching it right now it's white it's so beautiful it resembles that Bader Harman is wearing white clothes and is happy for these days for this gr these great you know uh, birthday anniversaries and it's so shiny when it was in Muharram and Safar it was all black and even Bain al Haramain was wearing black you know subhanallah subhanallah I, I, this is just exactly what I feel from this beautiful footage I feel happiness right now watching at such a beautiful footage but watching looking at such a great picture live picture live footage from the holy shana from Hussein alayhi salam and holy shana from al Falah Abbas alayhi salam and Ben Rahman in between, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. So, exactly as the holy city of Karbala is, we are as well. Our hearts are happy for these great days. And you know, it's not a, um, and it's not an ordinary day. It's not an ordinary occasion. It's birthday of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. It's birthday of Imam Ja'far and the Sadiq alayhi salam. And when you, when you are noticing this, uh, then it would, it would be a great idea if we just have a look at the Holy Quran. What would I say? I would like to say that if you notice in Holy Quran, you see that over 50 times you can find the name of Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him as messenger Atiullahu Atiur Rasul name of Holy Prophet is next to the name of Almighty God Atiullahu Atiur Rasul those who just shake hand with Almighty God it's just like they have shaken hand with the Almighty God and everything which is related to Almighty God, it comes alongside and it relates to the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and vice versa. Even Almighty in Holy Quran is describing the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, in a very, very great level. When it comes to Holy Quran, it says, uh, You've got a very great uh, behavior, manner. Just notice this verse, إِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ وَإِنَّكَ إِنَّكَ It is something that it is only you and nothing else. إِنَّ It is for emphasizing on something. Okay, إِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ Almighty is great. Almighty, you know, Almighty is greater than being described then this Quran is Almighty's word is Almighty's sentences and Almighty says in this great book which all is his sentences his his own words which is, which is a miracle actually Almighty in such a book says that to the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him you have a great manner subhanallah so just think that how great the holy prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him was i would like to tell you something else do you know how many miracles the holy prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him did and had during his life in some uh, you know, in some books it says that it was over 4,000 miracles. 4,000 miracles. Such as uh, one time the uh, Mushrikeen, those non believers, told him that, okay, we're not going to believe in you uh, unless you make a miracle, unless you show us a miracle. Then Holy Prophet Muhammad says, okay, what do you want? They just point to a tree. Uh, which was a uh, dead tree, I think, uh, as I have, I, re I remember. They point to that tree and they tell him, they tell the Holy Prophet Muhammad to tell the tree, to order the tree to come closer. 
Then the Holy Prophet Muhammad says, okay, no problem. He tells the Holy Prophet, uh, he tells the tree to come closer. Then the tree comes closer to Holy Prophet. They say, they say just tell him to be in half. One half stays in his place and one that the other half comes to you. It happens. They tell him to order this tree to have fruit, to bring fruits. Then Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, orders and it happens. Lots of miracles like this. Another one which has been mentioned in Holy Quran, it's the uh, moon being in half. The moon was cut in half and it is in the verse in the Surah of Qamar, I think, uh, which says in Shaq al Qamar. Uh, so, uh, in this event, they told him to order the, the moon to be in half. Then the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, orders the moon to be in half. It becomes in half. They also ask the Holy Prophet Muhammad to order the moon the halves of the moon to be in the west and in the east then it happens then they say that just make them come together once again it happens these are the other miracles of the holy prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him in addition to the greatest miracle which was holy quran but notice that in the holy quran almighty tells and introduces the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and says that, إِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ Almighty doesn't say that, uh, that uh, okay, you have great miracles, you have done great miracles. No, the Almighty introduces the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, by addressing his manner, his behavior. إِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ And indeed, most, maybe more, over 90% of the non-believers who converted to Islam, they converted to Islam because of the behavior, because of the manner, the great manner of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, not because of his miracles. Do you see? This great person whose manner, whose behavior is so great, is so outstanding such a great person has been born in 17th of Rabi al awwal and we are proud for being muslims for being his followers for being his ummah and the almighty has blessed us with such a great prophet alhamdulillah alhamdulillah and when you just study the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him you will find that the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him was so humble he was so humble in front of all the other people he always was starting saying salam to the others have you ever heard about it when you go somewhere and you you enter to your friends it's a sunnah of Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, to start to say salam first. People were comparing with each other and they were hiding behind the wall to say salam first to Holy Prophet. But they couldn't. And even in such a situation, the Holy Prophet Muhammad was saying salam first. He was the first one who says salam to them. And this is only one little point of his life the holy prophet muhammad peace and blessings be upon him before he becomes the prophet before Ba'tha, he was so well known he was so respected that people of mecca titled him muhammad al-amin sadiq al-amin the trustworthy the people of mecca those who uh, had the worst manners ever and one of the worst one of the bad manners of the people of Mecca in that time you know what was it it was killing their baby girls 
before Islam, before the Ba'tha of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, they were killing their baby girls. They were burying them under the ground. They were burying their baby girls while they were alive. Oh, my God. And, and the Holy Prophet Muhammad converted them, changed them, 180 degrees from this side to other side from being very very bad to be very very good you can see Abadar, you can see Ammar, you can see Yasir you can see Hudayfa, you can see all those great people who converted to some Bilal, Bilal Habashi you can see all those great people great companions of Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him who even these days we just remember them in a very great way this is the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him who changed the humanity and right now today in this world the time the era that we are living in you know if someone follows the behavior of the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him totally then he is going to be outstanding he is going to shine like a star like the sun let's say there are some people who behave in the best way possible and they are Muslims then you when you just remember them when you just talk to them you feel a kind of tranquility you feel so free, you feel so, you feel in peace when you are speaking with them. Because they are showing a portion, a very little portion of the behavior of all the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. So inshallah all of us be able to be true followers of Ahlul Bayt, true follower of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Let's have a short break. And then, inshallah, I will be back once again. Let's have some beautiful footage of the Holy Prophet, Holy Shrine of the uh, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, and Abdul Salah Abbas alayhi salam, and then I will be back once again. Let's have a break. <laughs> او نشارك فرح عيد نشارك او طلع بدر علينا وهلب يا حبيبي يا حبيبي يا محمد حبيبي يا محمد حبيبي يا محمد فرح ميلاد فر والله بفرح ميلاد فرحان البرية محمد محمد الف مبروك والله ألف مبروك يا عود الزكية محمد محمد نطش هالليلة والله نطش هالليلة عطر النرجسية محمد محمد ونهني بالفرح ونهني بالفرح حامل حمية محمد محمد بالأفراح القلب يهتف بالأفراح بالأفراح قلب يهتف بالأفراح القمر لاح من أنوار القمر لاح وبالأفراح القلب يهتف بالأفراح القمر لاح من أنوار القمر لاح أو تظل أنت ولينا هلا بمولا هلا 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 حبيبي يا محمد والله اجى القران 
باند آخر عربیه دیگه زیاد نترس فارسی هم داره اجا القرآن بی دورایت الدین زعیف شب ایب در عربیه ایام شادی اهل بیت بلان تر بگو اجا القرآن بی دورایت الدین والله هدم اصنام هم والله هدم اصنام هم قوم المشركين فدى روحه وحياته والله فدى روحه وحياته للمسلمين محمد والله هلا بجيتك هلا والله هلا بجيتك هلا يا جد نحسين محمد مسارك مسارك نظل نتبع اوكي اند as a ziyara show tonight we are spending our time with Imam Hussein alayhi salam knowing more about Ahlul Bayt knowing more about the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him and filling our souls and just imagining ourselves here in Karbala I have received two, mess two messages right here two salams and they are going to be salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam on behalf of all the mu'minin and mu'minat inshallah the first one is from sister Gulnaz uh, from India, okay, and we're going to hear her salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Let's all together perform ziyara as she is saying salam to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Salam, brother. I would again take the opportunity to thank the entire team of Imam Hussain TV and especially you, brother, for being a link between Imam Hussain alayhi salam and a lover of Imam Hussain alayhi salam who just yearns to be with Imam Musa every Good moment job. and I just heartily pray to Almighty to bless you all with the highest rewards in this world and hereafter please convey my salam Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh Assalamu alaikum ibn Rasulullah Assalamu alaikum ibn Amir al-Mu'mineen Assalamu alaikum ibn Fatima al-Sahra Sayyidah al-Nisai al-Alamin Assalamu alaikum ibn Al-Fazil Abbas Assalamu alaikum Imam Sahib al-Saman Ajallahu ta'ala Farajahu al-Sharif I also request you to pray for one Mu'mina who will be undergoing some surgery in coming days and also pray for Kul Mariz in sake of Imam Sajjad alayhi salam. Labbaik ya Hussain, Labbaik ya Abbas. Thank you. O Hussain, O Hussain, call us soon, never to return again. Ya Allah, ya Hussain. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you so much for this beautiful message. And the next message is from Aksa Zahra. She is also sending salam to Imam Hussain alayhi salam. We ask Almighty to bless all of you respected viewers a beautiful, great ziyara of Karbala soon, inshallah. Have a great night. Thank you so much for tuning in. And Ya Hussain. Hussain.